any message you want to give to your fans? Uh, thank you. Thank you <laughs> for all the positive uh, response. I mean, it's it's been amazing. And, and just hearing that some people, you know, have the song on repeat, it just, you know, everything besides that is is a bonus just knowing that people like the song and that and that it speak to someone even if it's just one person in i don't know say serbia <laughs> i mean that's enough but um i just hope the people will continue to to follow because there's a lot more to come and just thank you thank you thank you for all your positive energy and all your positive response well, I just hope that they will enjoy the entry for, for this year and I hope to see as many of you as possible in Baku. And if you can't see us there, then I probably think that we'll be using uh, mobile phones and uh, video recordings to, to display what we are doing in Baku. And hopefully we'll get some support and, and everybody will have a good time. She's singing softly in the night Praying for the morning light She dreams of how they used to be At dawn they will be free Beyoncé, we remember you of course from 2004 with the song Heaven. Can you tell our viewers that which projects you've been working on since you were last on our screens? Um, mainly I've been performing, performing in Iceland. I've been a full-time musician ever since then. Um, I published a solo album, self-titled, called Dionsi, and uh, three albums with my band, Die Svartum Fötum. I've done a bit of work in the theatres, uh, I've done a movie, and I've been working in TV, both as a, as a host and um, in sitcoms. So I've been rather busy. And, of course, now I'm studying psychology as well. Memories, they haunt his mind Save him from the endless night She whispers warm and tenderly Please come back to me I'm a violin player and I, um, I have a position at the Icelandic Symphony Orchestra. And I've been studying the violin since I was four, that's true. So um, from then until now, it's basically been music, <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us how you came to work with Jonsi on this particular project? Well, um, I, I had the song ready in 2010 and I recorded it not, not as a competition song. It was more like um, just a single that I wanted to publish and, you know, put in the radio and stuff like that. So when I decided to make it a duet, I thought of someone that had the, um, uh, that fit the, you know, the character of the song and Jonsi was just perfect for that. Greta called me over a year ago and uh, asked me if I would sing a duet with her for her upcoming uh, solo album. And uh, I said, yes, I like the song. And when he sang in the studio and when the song was ready, I mean, there was no doubt that he was the, the man for the job. Um, uh, during po post-production of the song, uh, she asked me if she could submit it, the song to the semifinals here in Iceland in Eurovision, some contest. And I said, OK, fine by me. Uh, she got through and uh, the rest is history. We won in the semifinals and we won in the finals as well. And now we're going to Baku. So... Um, a small proportion of propono work for an uh, upcoming artist in Iceland has changed dramatically into something slightly bigger. At what stage did you reach a decision to change the entry from Icelandic to the English language? It was basically just after the competition and when we started working on the on the final version. I just I just decided based on pure facts and on pure it was well it, you might call it strat strategy but it was more like um just what fit the competition in that setting, you know, better. If if I would have performed it in Iceland, I would have definitely kept it in Icelandic, but it was, it was just, 
well the the song has a has a story to tell and it was a it was a priority for me that people would understand the story and not just the song i mean the story and the song it's you know it's combined it's not one or the other so uh, at, at first it was a bit disheartening uh, some individuals in the Icelandic press thought it wasn't a good idea but after listening to the songs, song two or three times, uh, I think everybody heard that it was a good translation of the lyric and it's uh, phrased really well because it, I think it's important that the, the phrasing of the song is close to the original because Greta makes great uh, phrasings in her songs and she managed to pull through uh, a, a, an English lyric with almost exactly the same phrasing. So I'm really happy and I think that the Icelandic uh, nation is as well because we have been performing it in, in English and people have been singing out loud with us. And I mean, if you're singing it in Eurovision and, and there's no one from Iceland that's gonna, you know, vote for you, then I, I guess English is a better choice. Because I've made the mistake twice to start in Icelandic and having to having to change into the English lyrics after the first sentence, which has been <laughs> a bit hard and funny at the time as well. So now I think I'm fully prepared to just sing in English. Can you tell us a bit more where the video was shot? It was shot in the southern part of Iceland. It's called um, Krisivik. <laughs> Krisivik and Kleivarvat. It's um, it's in the lava field, you know, in the southern in the southern part. So it, in the southwestern part of Iceland. So it's it's in the it's in the pure Icelandic lava nature. <laughs> This is, this is a rather gloomy stage for a video and it was extremely cold uh, filming it, especially through the night. But I think it represents the dramatic phases of the, uh, the Icelandic nature because uh, uh, we are a young country and, and you see loads of lava and rocks all around. And you see that in the video. You see the cold, barren wasteland of Iceland. But as well, you can see trees and grass, which is what Iceland <laughs> sometimes does. It's, we're just like a satirical country when it comes to <laughs> the landscaping. You have uh, you told us you were uh, studying psychology. So how has it been preparing for Eurovision as well as preparing for your exams, final exams? It has been really hard. I've been taking one day at a time and, and, and with help from my family and friends, I've managed to pull through and I've been lucky. Uh, they've been quite understanding at my university and here I am right on track. I will, I, will, I will send in my last exam at the 11th of May and I'll go to Baku on the 12th. <laughs> so what are your plans between now and arriving in Baku? So obviously studying for exams. Yes. What about the rehearsal schedule? Uh, we'll be rehearsing every day. Uh, for about at least two hours, where we'll be singing the song over and over again, going over the routine and, and, uh, and the positions of each member of the Eurovision group on stage during the song. We'll be thinking about costumes, and we'll be thinking about camera work. And I think we have loads to do, but we will, we will finish it one step at a time, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. 